People need to see this, okay? Right, what, what's happened here is this lad has been hit in the head with bats for trying to stick up for the general public. Yeah. Excuse me, mate, what's your name? Uh, Andy. Andy, um, we're going to go to the police station and make a denouncement of what yeah. we've just got on video, okay? Yeah. Uh, what were you doing? Stopping someone getting ripped off like I was here two months ago and some old woman in, and in this fraud is some old woman. And you've had enough of it? For people that come to Benidorm that don't know about the P-Men, what would your advice be? Stay away from them, been shafting from them years ago. Yeah? yeah? And what would you recommend if you come across the P-Men? Just avoid them. To avoid them, but avoid them. do they like Just walk past. What would be your advice to people uh, that come to Benidorm if they see the P-Men? Stay away. Don't even go near the group. Because there's six or seven of them are all together. They're working together. And they're betting. Other, other people in. Yeah. Also, dip in your pockets while you stand. Bang on. I'm what would your advice be to tourists when they see the potato men? Should so, they play? No, they shouldn't. Because, yeah, they they still stuff, and I have a bad experience with that. Oh. Um. What would you recommend to anyone that comes across the pee men? Stay away from them. Don't watch them. Don't get involved. Don't interact with people that are around them. Just walk away. Could I get your opinion on the P-Men? On the what? For people that come to Benidorm that don't know about the P-Men, what would your advice be? Stay away from them, been shafting from them years ago. Yeah? yeah? And what about if you're just there to watch? Well, that's alright, innit? To watch? Well, I don't know, I heard that there's people around uh, pickpocketing. Oh, yeah, 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 I would, I would say, yeah. So the yeah, best yeah. advice would be just stay clear, stay don't yeah, even watch. Away, Did you know that last week there was a very violent fight just around this corner? At about quarter past eight and I'm wondering if it could be because the police station that's just down that road there about 50 60 meters away closes at eight o'clock at night oh, right. that's convenient, isn't it? well I'm wondering maybe if we had a, um, a police station that was open 24 hours or at least until later at night maybe that wouldn't have happened and maybe a lot of things wouldn't happen Probably right there. makes sense yeah. no <laughs> so do you live in Benidorm or you're on holiday you're on holiday yeah. Well, um, the, thugs, the thugs will come out at 8 o'clock then, won't they? Yeah, exactly. So what we're trying to do is get enough people to say, look, Mr Mayor, Town Hall, we need, uh, we need the police to be Why more present. That's the big question. So that's what we're going around. Nobody seems to agree with them closing at 8, so maybe if there's enough of us saying it on camera and if need be enough of us putting signatures, we'll get them to change it. Definitely. Thanks, bruv. No problem. Have a lovely holiday. Take care, guys. Excuse me, is it okay if I just get your opinion? That was a scam. I know it was. You know about the scams, yeah? Oh, we know about all the scams here. What do you think about the P-men? Oh, no. Did this scam go in? What would you recommend to people watching that haven't been to Benidorm or haven't come across? What would you recommend if you come across the P-men? Just avoid them. To avoid them, but avoid them. do they like Just walk past because as well as it being a scam in itself, uh, are you aware that the people around are also pickpocketing the people that are just spectators? And uh, last week there was a very violent act um, just uh, close to where we're standing because some of the English lads turned around and said, we've had enough of this, we've seen people getting ripped off last time we were here. 
and they tried to stop the show and they got into a bit of trouble. So I, luckily I got it on video and I'm just getting a few people's opinions. So your advice is stay well clear of the stay P-Men. Well clear. Yeah, and what was the scam that was just happening to you before I got my camera out? You said they were showing me something. I know a little bit of Spanish, but not that much. You say there's been some treatment and it's careful 20 euro for this paper. And his uh, medication's going to cost him what did he say? 70 euro and he just needs 70 cents. Yeah. Well, we also watch out for the people that are pretending to be uh, deaf and dumb. Because yeah. a lot of times they'll have paperwork saying that they're with a charity or that they've got special needs. And a lot of the times they're faking it. Uh, yeah. There's all sorts of scams, sadly. But because we're in a tourist area, you're going to get them. Uh, but we're trying to show the town all what we're up against to see if they can step in and do a little bit to help clean Benidorm up again. Not yet. Let's see if the new mayor's got anything up his sleeve to, to sort it out. You guys have a great holiday. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Where are you from? I'm from uh, England. I'm Br uh, British, but I've been living in Benidorm for 20 years. Where are you from? from Germany. Ah, from Germany, Deutschland. Uh, yeah. And you know about the pea men, yeah? The potato men. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what yeah, would yeah. your advice be to tourists when they see the potato men? Should they play? No, no they shouldn't. Because, yeah, they're, they still suck and I have a bad experience with that. Oh, dear. I only can say to you, the people, that they should not play. Don't themselves. play. What about standing and watching? Is it safe to watch? No, it's not. A friend told me that they steal money of your pocket and, yeah, that's... So there's no such thing as an innocent bystander. No, it's, it's bad. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> well, just so you know, if you ever do have problems, the police station's just there. But you must get there before 8 o'clock because that's when they close. Yeah. <laughs> so we're hoping that we can get them to stay open longer as well. That would be great, yeah. I appreciate yeah. your advice. Thank you very much, my friend. Nice. Have a great holiday. Excuse me, do you speak English? Yes. Could I just ask your opinion quickly? Um, did you know about the tourist police station just up the road there? I didn't know. Um, it's open from 8 o'clock in the morning until 8 o'clock in the afternoon. Right. And then it closes. All right. Well, I take it you've been to Benidorm uh, yeah, long so. enough to yeah. see that from 8 o'clock is when we'd probably need the police more than ever, yeah. no? Yeah, hey, so, yeah. So you, you reckon that maybe they should... Uh, Amplify their hours or change it from eight in the morning to late at night well, you to eight. Need them during the day, do you? Exactly. You need them at night. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, and just another quick one. You see them clouds up there in the sky, straight lines. Yes. When I was young, and I'm sure you can remember when you were young, aeroplanes didn't leave uh, trails that lasted hours and hours. Right. They dissipated into the wind. They dispersed. Now. For years people have been arguing about this, but now the Spanish government have admitted that they're doing artificial weather modification. Now, a lot of people come here to get a sun, suntan, you know, so maybe we're losing the suntan by putting all this yeah. stuff in the sky. Yeah. And also, common sense tells me if emissions cause global warming, then to combat it we should lower the emissions first with renewable energy pa patents getting brought yeah, up yeah, uh, stop yeah. that from happening rather than put more crap into the skies yeah, yeah, see and I'm also worried that the toxins that we're breathing in are more dangerous than the temperature change yeah. so I'm raising a bit of awareness about that as well as trying to get the police station to open a little bit longer okay, right. because the governments around the world 50 countries trust NASA to put these chemicals in the sky without worrying about our side effects yeah. and they're also laughing about GMOs being safe that vaccinations and that 5G and Wi-Fi has got no danger oh, maybe it's because yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. bit of money behind yeah. it I also recommend that we start using science to prove things to ourselves check for ourselves rather than believe scientists which is religious uh, while you're in Benidorm you can see San Juan in the daytime that's 20 miles away and at night time you can see the street lights illuminated of San Juan Beach at night. Right. Now mathematics state that there has to be 80 metres drop over 20 miles. Yet because we can see the street lights at night along the beach front, we know that there isn't 80 metres drop. Right. And if we go to Blackpool, 
mathematics states that there should be 2,000 metres drop to the Isle of Man, yet we can see the Isle of Man from Blackpool. So I'm not sure if Earth's flat and I don't really care about that. I just know from doing science myself that we're being lied to about the dimensions of where we live. Be it flat, be it a fourth dimension, or be it a lot bigger of all than what they tell us. They're hiding land resources. Who knows? Uh, They've given us globe syndrome so we don't travel because we think we'll come back to the same place. But nobody's ever circumnavigated Earth from north, south to north again. They've only ever gone east bound or westbound right. which could work on a flat map because if you're north and i'm holding my uh, compass yeah. and i follow west yeah. i'll come back to the same place yeah, and I'm, I'm on a flat surface yeah. so yeah maybe earth is flat all i know is water's always level no matter the distance yeah. and if earth's 70 percent covered in level water then it can't be a ball can it yeah. no, in right. in physics sense also they're lying about the dimensions of where we live sorry the situation of where we live because with a modern camera with a big lens we can zoom in on a star or a planet and make a video and when you watch that video in slow motion you'll see high definition high resolution uh, geometric shapes so they're not what they tell us and they're definitely not where they tell us 30 trillion kilometers away they say my camera isn't that strong and neither is any that you'll get yans on so check for yourself in case i'm lying and the last one is moonlight chills water they don't teach us that in school, do they? No. Yet you can check that with a thermometer. You leave one glass of water in the moonlight at night time, and you leave the other one in the shade, both in your garden. You check the temperature, you wait 20 minutes, half an hour, check the temperature again. Obviously the one in the shade stays the same temperature. The one in the moonlight lowers by two or three degrees, and if you use a magnifying glass, it lowers more. So they haven't been walking on no rock reflecting sunlight. They're having a sun for 60, yeah, 50, yeah. 60 years, yeah. for 52 million a day in America. Put that with all the space agencies of the world. We're looking over 100 million a day, 40 billion a year that could go towards helping end world hunger and researching illnesses yeah. instead of going to Hollywood to keep us programmed. Yeah. Anyway, look into it. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah, no, no, no problem. <laughs> and have a good day. And like I say, stop believing secondary information. Because even if it's from a scientist, it's religious unless you check it for yourself. Thanks, guys. Have a lovely holiday. Bye-bye. Excuse me, girls. Have you heard about the P-men? I'm just making a video to sh- uh, show people that are new to Benidorm or haven't been yet to watch out for the P-men because uh, last week there was quite a violent fight just near the in- indoor market and there was some uh, British lads that were trying to stick up for the general public that were unaware that were getting ripped off by the scam. Uh-huh. What would be your advice to people uh, that come to Benidorm if they see the P-men? Stay away. Don't even go near the group. Because there's six or seven of them are all together, they're working together, and they're betting for other to pull other people in. Yeah. Also dipping your pockets while you stand. Bang on! I'm glad you went there. Mm-hmm. That's the big part of it. You might just think I'm just an innocent uh, bystander. bystander. I'm just going to observe. You can still get conned just by watching them, can't you? Because they're in your bag. We saw it last night. The girl had an open bag, and one of the girls that was in the group. Walked beside the girl as she was walking away and seen there was nothing visible in her bag and walked back. Terrible. Well, I'm glad that you're aware of it and thank you for letting me uh, get your opinion to see if we can help uh, get people raise awareness of it yes. because if nobody played, they'd bugger off somewhere oh, else yeah, or, well, or they'd get a real job or, or something that doesn't yeah. involve scamming people maybe. Yeah. But as they keep getting away with it and people keep coming back to them. And they're on a group six or seven of them in the group yeah don't fall for it no. they might look like uh, you can win but the people that appear to be winning are in on it too aren't they they're in on it awesome um, just before I let you go girls do you know much about clouds no right well you see those clouds there they're very straight aren't they the lines they're very lineal they're not natural clouds They're formed by aeroplanes that are specifically designed to do geoengineering, which is artificial modification of the weather. This is supposedly to combat climate change. Now, my problem is, if we're causing climate change, supposedly, by the emissions, shouldn't we lower our emissions 
by taking away all these patents of renewable energies before adding more chemicals to this oh, atmosphere because I'm more worried, worried about the toxins that we're breathing in than a bit of a temperature change, you know what I mean? I'm more wor worried about the illnesses, that, the secondary effects from these chemicals. Well, to be honest with you, myself and my brother have a terrible cough mm -hmm. since we've came here. There you go, I wonder if it's something to do with this. And also, when you think we're coming here to get a suntan, the last thing we want is them to be making it cloudy. Uh -huh. I know. So what I'm gonna do is give you a flyer um, one of you's got a bag to put it in, yeah? Because this shows you the Spanish website, the government website, where they're telling you about this geoengineering program that uh, NASA are in charge of. 50 countries around the world trust them to do this. And my bigger problem, apart from leaving in these toxins without any care for our side effects, they're also promoting that radiation from 5G, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth has no side effects on our health, that we can vaccinate children and adults with absolutely any ingredients without questioning why there's mercury and stuff. These guys are promoting all this stuff as safe probably because there's an agenda. Scientists that are promoting things, they're just spokesmen, they're just false prophets. Now my biggest problem with NASA is they tell us that we're living on a ball floating around space, lost in space from a big bang, yeah? Where's the evidence? All I've ever seen is a cartoon spinning where the clouds don't move. And even on NASA.com, all of the images are called images. They don't call them photographs because they don't want to get sued. They're making images out of high altitude photos and they paint them onto a vector in a program called Photoshop and they tell you this. Robert Simmons admits that they're all images, composite images. So they're taking 52 million dollars a day from the American taxes. Now add up the European Space Agency, the Russian, Russian Space Agency, Chinese, Japanese, Indian. We're looking over a hundred million a day. That's 40 billion a year that could go towards ending world hunger and researching illnesses instead of going towards Hollywood to keep us programmed with these big bang bullshit bloody dreams telling us that we're insignificant, irrelevant, lost in space, dead small. If you believe in a creator or if you're part of nature, whatever it is, you're not that important. Well, I'm telling you, check for yourself because just over there, you can see Alicante and especially at night time, you'll see the street lights of Alicante San Juan Beach. Now, mathematics states that there's supposed to be 80 meters drop over 20 miles. But when you see the street lights at night, you'll know from making a scientific observation that there isn't 80 meters drop over 20 miles here. And if you go to Blackpool, you'll see the Isle of Man. That's 100 miles away, if I remember right. That proves that there's not 2,000 meters drop over 100 miles like this supposed to be mathematically. So scientific observation proves that we're being lied to. It doesn't prove that the Earth's flat, so I'm not going to start preaching my beliefs. I'm just saying that we can prove that we're not on a ball 25,000 miles in circumference because our observation tells us that it, the water's level. And if water's level, no matter the distance, and Earth's 70% covered in level water, well, it can't be a ball. Maybe it's flat, maybe it's a fourth dimensional shape. It's the money that they're taking that could go to better use and the point that they're trusted to spray all this crap in our skies which could be stopping our suntan, causing illnesses. And let's be honest, we could take away global warming a lot better by taking away all the patents of renewable energy. Apart from there being no curvature, girls, you get a modern camera with a big lens and make a video of a star and you'll see that they're not that far away. We're being lied to about where we are in this universe. It looks like we're geocentric, we're in the middle. We've got the center stage, yet they're telling us that we're just going around the sun and the sun's going around the Milky Way and, you know, we're not that important. You make a video of a star and watch it in slow motion. Any good camera now will show you that they're not that far away. Or big balls of fire, <laughs> like they told, told us. And the best one is, especially with you all being ladies, the moonlight chills water within half an hour. You only need a thermometer that you'd use for babies or for food, and you can check that yourself with two glasses of water. One in the shade in the garden, one under the moonlight. Check the temperature, wait half an hour, check the temperature again. And if you use a magnifying glass, you'll see that the moonlight will chill water even more. So it isn't a rock reflecting sunlight like they've told us. So I believe Michael Jackson's the only one that could do the moonwalk, and that they've been conning us for 50 years.
and now they've got us debating each other about is it flat, is it round? I don't know if it's flat. I don't really care. I just know that it doesn't curve as much as they tell us and that that money could go to a lot better and that they shouldn't be trusted to spray crap in the sky. So I'll let you keep that flyer. Uh, please check out them things whenever you can and tell your friends how to check them yourself. The only way we're going to stop these scams is by uh, coming together and demanding that the politicians uh, stop Get funding them. So the P-men, please, please not go out every night and check. Well, the problem with the P-men is the national law, it might be an international Brussels thing, you know, um, that they, they obligate uh, all the laws. They're saying that unless it's over 400 euros, we can't do anything about it. So if a pickpocket takes 399 euros, or if a con man cons you out of 399 or less, it's not a, it's not a law worth taking them to court. Exactly, the crimes committed when they grab. Exactly. So what I'm doing is I'm going to the town hall to see if they can... There you go. And if it had been 401, they might have paid attention. So I'm going to go to the town hall and tell them that we need to ask for a, a modification, at least for this zone, for this area, and see if we can get something done about it. If it takes signatures, if it takes petitions, if it takes a march... Because they get very violent, don't they? They do, they do. And um, it's a sad thing that we're ignoring it, because when you ignore problems, they only get worse. So I'm going to see if I can raise a bit of awareness, cause a bit of noise and work with the town hall on getting something done Definitely instead of just pointing business. fingers. Mm -hmm. You're paying all that money to come here and enjoy your holiday yeah, and get grabbed off. Yep, yeah. yeah. and trust me, we pay a lot of taxes to work here as well. <laughs> so I'm very glad that we've had this conversation for the flat earth thing and also for the geoengineering and also because I can show people that we're all on the same page we want the police to be open 24 hours a day and we want the laws to change so that the police can actually do something to protect and serve yeah. and people are going to stop coming to the country Exactly. They're not, they're not going to put the protection out, and this is going to happen. People are getting money taken. They're going to stop coming. Exactly. Oh, We've got to look after the image of Benidorm yeah. before yes. it gets too tarnished. That's that. Definitely. Definitely. Well, I'm glad I've got your vote, girls, and thank you for the conversation. It's been very uh, resourceful. <laughs> Have a lovely holiday. Oh, thank you. Bye bye. What well, as far as I'm concerned, the, 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 the police and stuff should, should deal with them. This should be dealt with. 100%. It's been going on long enough now. Yeah. Um, what would you recommend to anyone that comes across the P-men? Stay away from them. Don't watch them. Don't get involved. Don't interact with people that are around them. Just walk away. Because they're all in on it together, aren't they? Absolutely. And if you think you're an innocent standby, you might be getting your pockets picked. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like they have the deep voice on this one. Exactly. So your advice is stay well clear. Don't even stand and watch them. Don't entertain them and they and what do you think about the tourist police office closing at 8 pm? I don't know. From a, Seems from a, a bit dodgy, doesn't point it? Field, I, I don't know because I'm not involved in it really. But you know how there's like three different types of police in this area? All the main police stations are in the Old Town and Benidorm Centre. They've opened a tourist <coughs> police office here in the touristic area, but it's open from 8 in the morning till 8 at night. And I'm thinking, well, it. I think 8, 9 at nights when, yeah. when the vampires start to come out, it isn't is, it? but in the same respect, I think people should behave themselves. People behave themselves more and look after many of them and they have a need really for such a high police presence. So I, I think two other operators and stuff have, have, have to get involved as well. You have to warn people when they're on the bus coming from the airport. Exactly. I mean, a lot of people, you don't see them acting that one street. And like they keep telling us on television, drink responsible. Because we're easy targets when we're um, yeah. piddled, aren't we? <laughs> I appreciate so, yeah, that, mate. In, you know, in respect of the police it's always nice and we always feel safer when the police are there, but it costs money. Yeah. You know, um, when people aren't covered because of the people that are already here, then the money's not there to pay the producers. So I think if people behave themselves a little bit more, the economy would be better and be able to offer. Mm. Just like in England, just like in New York.
This is it. We gotta we gotta look after ourselves before we expect other people to take care of us. If everybody behaved themselves, there wouldn't be a need. I'm gonna have to drop this on you now. Well, thanks for that. This one's totally not related. What shape do you think the Earth is? Flat. Good on you. Yeah, flat. <laughs> and I also don't think Australia exists. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what shape the Earth is, yeah. but mathematics state that there's supposed to be 80 meters drop over 20 miles. Yeah. Yet you can see for yourself every day Alicante, San Juan in the daytime and you know you can see the street lights at night time so the math ain't wrong because I've asked loads of people to check it it's that the curve doesn't appear in reality only on paper the only time if the curve appears is when you look at the horizon so there's a little bit of the there's a little one there isn't that but who knows exactly well I'm starting to say to people it doesn't curve as much as they tell us because we can see the street lights 20 miles away at night time here we can also see the Isle of Man from Blackpool so it looks like no matter the distance water's always level so if Earth's covered in 70% of level water it can't be a ball I don't know if it's flat or a fourth only, dimensional the only shape the only contradiction that I find is, 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 is the tides well you imagine if, if the tide goes out the tide comes in I believe in the tidal boat you know the yin yang symbol yeah Imagine that the tides are caused by the moon like they say, but it's because the moon radiates a negative polarity light. This could be why the moonlight chills water. See, if you do the experiment in your garden, you'll see a glass of water in the shade keeps the same temperature, where a glass in the moonlight will drop within half an hour by about two or three degrees. And if you use a magnifying glass, it'll drop even more. I'll, I'll get there now actually I'm glad you brought that up so yeah check for yourself moonlight chills yeah. you know that the, you can see Alicante street lights every night from Benidorm Beach so there ain't the curve that they're telling but check the math in case my math's wrong I just want to talk about you oh we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there and when you make a video of stars and watch that video in slow motion you'll see that the stars aren't 20 trillion miles away like they tell us and they're not balls of fire which is why we still see the same stars in the same places you know, Aquarius has still got the water, Scorpio has still got the claws. After 10,000 years since they did the Mayan and Aztec calendars and the pyramids. So the Big Bang's a load of bullshit to make us feel irrelevant. NASA are lying $52 million a day in America, plus all the other space agencies that are umbrella company of, uh, from NASA. They take over $100 million a day that could go to end world hunger and research illnesses. And yes, NASA are in charge of this geoengineering plan which the Spanish government, Spanish uh, government website calls artificial weather modification. Yeah. Now we should be worried about a suntan with all these clouds that they're putting in the sky. We should be worried about the toxins we're breathing in instead of the temperature change. I'm more worried about the illnesses that are coming from these toxins. I'm glad you're on about that, bruv, yeah. because they're also the same uh, scientists, spokesmen, that are using propaganda to tell us that GMOs are safe in the food, vaccination ingredients shouldn't be questioned even when there's mercury, aluminium and um, all sorts of weird stuff in there that doesn't have any benefits and we're told that 5G, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth has no danger, the radiation doesn't damage at all. Well I know that if you microwave water yeah. till it's hot and then let that go cold, water your plant like that for two three weeks oh, and the yeah. plant will die. So microwaves, science proves we're being lied to, science proves that we should be a bit more cautious. We, we do what we're being washed into. From four years old they tell us believe in gravity, which yeah. is just a theory to explain how water conforms to the exterior of a ball, yet no one can reproduce gravity. They can only talk about it and theorise it. Maybe there's no need for gravity if we're on a flat earth or fourth dimensional shape, then you know everything drops because it's more heavy than the medium it's in. Like, you'll sink in fresh water, but you'll float in salt water. Where's the gravity in salt water? Where's the gravity for that smoke? Yeah. Smoke's heavy metal particles, yet it rate rises up, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Water vapour rises up. It's only when it condenses into a cloud, density, that the rain drops. So density explains that phenomena. Yeah. Gravity is a big load of bullshit, if you ask me. So like I say, I'm not a flat earther, <laughs> I just don't believe that, that we're on a ball yeah. because science proves that we'll be lied to about the situation and dimensions. Yeah. And you know all them images we see on NASA.com, they're called images. Yeah. 
they don't call them photos, they call them composite images. And next time you see that earth spinning, you look at the clouds on that ball, and the clouds stay the same throughout the whole rotation. Half a rotation is 12 hours, those clouds should be changing all the time. Hollywood, mate, they're having a sun. I believe they're not. Good lad, <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. I'm good, buddy. Uh, is it okay if I ask you three quick questions for my YouTube channel? Uh, I don't know if we're allowed to do that. Ah, um, well one of them is like theoretically, and if you have it, they're great, if not then just theoretically, if we were taking a plane flight from say Madrid, Spain, to Toronto, Canada, and we were to fly over the North Pole, and it was say about a 10 to 12 hour duration, would you not land back into the same place? <laughs> Supposing the Earth's spinning in 24 hours a complete rotation, would you not land in the same place if a 12 hour flight over the North Pole started? in the same direction? That's a good question. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure we're allowed to do videos, unfortunately. Go, uh, on, to, go on to the internet. Uh, that is, that's an interesting question, though. And also, the second question is, if you were flying eastbound from Europe to the uh, United States, and it was a, roughly a 12-hour flight, is it not that strange that it's also a 12-hour flight from the States back to Europe? Considering the Earth's supposedly spinning at a thousand miles an hour at the equator, and that planes are supposedly flying from 500 to 700 miles per hour, would we ever land back in Europe <laughs> if we can't go as fast as the Earth? I, I know that you can't answer these questions, that's why I'm making a video to show people that we should be able to ask in a scientific uh, method approach to things instead of just assuming that everything's right. Uh, no one's been able to answer these questions because if we're supposedly moving with the atmosphere, how come steam, smoke and helium rise and defy gravity? My last question is, and again you might not be able to answer this one, supposedly to maintain level um, altitude you, you have to use your thrusters and incline the nose a little bit to fly upwards every now and then, is, is that kind of right? Yeah, that's about right. So if on a 12 hour flight you're supposedly landing on the other side of a ball, Am I right in saying that you don't have to um, dip the nose every now and then to follow the curve of the curvature of the Earth? Uh, so, they're, they're all complicated questions. They're interesting. I know. They are interesting. Because if gravity was pulling downwards, it would pull you down, but it wouldn't guide your nose down. So technically, you should have to dip your nose every now and then to follow the eight inches per mile uh, squared curvature that's quoted mathematically for a ball of 25,000 miles in circumference. But no pilot has ever told me or anyone else that they do dip the nose of the plane to follow the curve down. So the question is, if you're flying level from where you took off, wouldn't you fly out into space? So, uh, yeah, I can, I can see where you're going there. What, what the airplane does is it flies, it flies level constant to, the, to yes. the surface. Supposedly, but if you're not dipping the nose, then how can we be following the curve? Because autopilot um, like, w would maybe correct things, but gravity isn't autopilot. It wouldn't be so finely tuned. If you're having to thrust and lift the nose a little bit up to maintain an altitude, then surely you're not following a curve if you haven't got to dip the nose. Do you see where I'm going? I, I, kind, I kind of do. I great, kind great. Of do. I, kind of do. Oh, I think that's that Sorry, us. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Well, we, can, we can have a chat at the end if you like. If, you, so. if possible, I'll come back at the end just to right. give you an hour yeah. or two to think about have, it as well. I can blur your faces as well if that's it better. I can't really have videos of ourselves going on to the internet. I'm afraid, so. If I blur your face so that no one knows your name or anything, would no, that be allowed? No, I'm also, afraid, I'm afraid I'm okay, okay. Over, so. Well, this is the thing. I'm not sure if the Earth's flat or fourth dimensional, but there's no curvature at uh, water level. I offered ten thousand euros, and no one could find a photo of landscape hidden behind curvature. Not from 20 miles to 100 miles, yet there's supposed to be noticeable loss due to curvature, but there isn't. And no matter how high you guys fly, or how high Red Bull goes, the uh, horizon's always eye level. Sorry, can I just... Thanks, guys. Thanks.
terms of conspiracy theory content generally, our goal is to promote authoritative content to our users. So we have two principles that guide the way here. That's the first one, is we want to provide users with authoritative, trustworthy Ms. information. Downs, I, I'm sorry to cut you off. I only have a minute and a half. And I, I, I don't really need to hear what you're trying to provide. I want to know how you're dealing with all these conspiracy theorists on your platform. So the, the first way is by demoting low quality content and promoting more authoritative content. And the second is by providing more transparency for users. So we're introducing boxes that provide factual information at the top of results that have shown themselves to turn up a lot of information that is counterfactual, such as searching for the earth is flat on YouTube, where you see a lot of- Your uh, response is to put a box saying, nope, the earth is not flat. Correct. Okay. Such as searching for the earth is flat on YouTube, where you see a lot of- Your response uh, is to put a box saying, nope, the earth is not flat. Correct. Okay.